Hey there, Jimmy here. And hello again from me, Heather. On an earlier episode, we spoke about harnessing the power of machine learning with Cloud ML Engine. Today, we look at how we can derive insights from unstructured text using Google Cloud Natural Language, a Google Cloud machine learning API. We'll also run through a quick demo of the self-paced lab, where we'll ask the Cloud Natural Language API to extract entities from a snippet of text. Let's get to it. <laughs> So I have a question for you. How often do you look at online reviews when choosing a restaurant? All the time, especially when I'm visiting a new city. So do I. Well, as valuable as these insights are to you as a consumer, good or bad, imagine the value to a business offering the product or service. Absolutely. From online reviews, social media posts, blogs, forums, and emails, there are so many ways to connect the written word. Think of the amount of communication data generated by call centers as well. A wealth of business critical information just waiting to be extracted. An example of how this can be helpful in the real world is, let's say you're a business and you need to get real-time answers to questions like, are my customers happy? What is being said about our business? Or how well is our product or service being received? This is where natural language processing is so valuable, as it allows machines to analyze huge volumes of data that humans never could. Google Cloud Natural Language reveals the structure and the meaning of text by offering powerful machine learning models in an easy-to-use REST API. This API brings you the same machine learning technology that powers Google's ability to find answers in Google Search and is the system behind Google Assistant. You can use the syntax and sentiment analysis functionalities of cloud natural language to extract linguistic information in a block of text, as well as the overall feelings expressed with it. You can also use entity analysis to return information about known entities, such as public figures, landmarks, organizations, products, and so on. Positive, negative, or neutral sentiments can be identified by combining sentiment analysis to these entities, too. And if you're in an industry like media or publishing, where you would traditionally have manually sorted, labeled, and categorized content, the Natural Language API can also automatically sort documents and content into more than 700 predefined categories for you. Time for quick labs. In this hands-on lab, you'll use the Cloud Natural Language API to extract entities, like people, places, and events, from a snippet of text. You can check out the link to start the Quick Lab here. Keep in mind that this will take about 40 minutes to complete. So far in the lab, we've created an API key so that we can use the Analyze Entities Natural Language API method. With this method, the API can extract entities, like people, places, and events, from text. We're going to try out the entity analysis with the sentence, Michelangelo Carvaccio, Italian painter, is known for the calling of St. Matthew. First, we're building our request to the natural language API in the request.json file in the Cloud Shell editor. We can then pass the request body, along with the API key environment variable, to the natural language API with this curl command. The response shows us the entity type, metadata, in this case, a Wikipedia URL, and salience the indices of where the entity appears in the text from 0 to 1. And with that, we've sent our first request to the Cloud Natural Language API. So that brings us to the end of another episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you found some cool ways to apply the Natural Language API, we'd love to hear from you. And make sure to check out the link where you can apply what you've learned using the $300 free trial credit on Google Cloud Platform here. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. <laughs>